All right, I suppose y'all are due for some, some bee antics. I've been too busy to talk to you much, but show you what I'm fooling with today. I have finally secured a little old deep freeze. Uh, it may or may not work. My neighbor wasn't sure, but he was moving out of town and just wanted to get rid of it, so I took it off his hands. Um, anyway, I've been wanting one for a while to try making a better solar melter. I've got my little old one over there. That thing is completely useless. And I made a video in the past when I put it together with all the design flaws, and I didn't put a whole lot of effort into it, nor have I put much effort into this one. But what I've got is just the chest freezer, took the lid off of it. I set a couple high bodies in there to get my wax up close to the top. Found this scrap piece of plexiglass. Notice it says Marlboro, it's off an old sign or something. I'm not an advocate for tobacco. It was a free piece of plexiglass that I would have otherwise thrown away. Anyway, so set the high bodies in there just to get it up a little bit higher. Put a little pan underneath with some water. Um, this old grill grate that I had laying around and some wax left over from a cutout. So I don't have a thermometer in there. I might try to go get a thermometer out of the house and just hang it on the grate and see just how hot it actually gets. But for now, just got it thrown in there and uh, just going to see if it even starts to melt anything or not. But I'll try to let you know how it goes. 140 degrees is what we're baking inside of there. 140. And uh, it's been sitting out here in the sun for maybe an hour it's about 75 degrees today so 75 outside 140 inside that'll do it i don't remember the exact melting temperature of beeswax but uh, i can look in there and see just looking through there's a whole bunch of humidity um but looking through there you can see the liquid beeswax just kind of puddling up that's either beeswax or water but either way it is melting cool cool it's melting 